guess where we're going to? We are heading to a place called Blumhof. And I think we've got about a 50 kilometer drive to do. What tells you that? <laughs> if you look at my map, <laughs> we've just left Christiana and we're heading for Blumhof. And I'm looking forward to that because I'm sure most of you know about the Blumhof Dam. Oh, it is okay. spectacular. I want to go and see that dam. All right, it's 25 to 6. I told our host, 6 o'clock. I don't think we'll make it. No. So I better call and uh, apologize ahead of time again. Tell her we're going to be late. As per <laughs> usual. <laughs> but yeah, no. We're sleeping in Blumhof. Yes. Yeah. There's been some mega felt fire around here. Yeah. Mega is the right word, both sides. Yeah. This is crazy. To me. I can smell it, you know, while we're driving here, I can smell the... What? Sure. Looks like a huge area, hey? Yeah. Oh, that's horrible. For the first time, we have a beautiful northwest sunset. How gorgeous is that? Crazy. As we are entering the town of Blumhof. Blumhof, here we come. Seven minutes past six. Yes. We're not too late. No. Here we go. In the town. Get met by a stop. We have 750 meters to go. And then, then we must turn left? Yes. Okie dokes. And our host said it's totally fine. It's nine minutes left. past, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Did she say so? Yes. <laughs> so. I always prepare people that we may be late. Yes. Because we are almost always late. Oh, we can't stick to schedules, eh? With every, all the interesting things along the road, you can't make appointments because you get held up. Yeah, and, and we get distracted. Well, that's cool. No, no, I love distractions. All right, 200 and 50 meters we are looking for Malherbe Street okay I think you can go one over store there's like three lanes yeah, here it's in like a majorly wide and it's a dual road yeah it's like a triple road <laughs> and then the other side tip is on what's a truck say yeah all right 270 meters. Yes, 250 meters now. Then we turn right. Cool. Yes, it looks like it. Street names aren't very obvious, or they're not there at all. And this is it. I'm yes, sure. yes, you're right. Hey, bright lights, big city. French linen. This is this us. House. This is us. Perfect. Don donkey, bye. I think you continue in here. This is the closest. Yes. Okay, I'll stop right here. Yes.
منشری How cool is this? This is so nice and big. That's the loom. This is a cool shower. And I'll show you the outside tomorrow. But actually, what I want to show you right now is with these lights, because tomorrow those lights are gone. I have to show you this. This looks like an old reservoir that they used to have water in. Oh, this is so nice. Look at this. Fantastic. The bright area. Brilliant. No prizes for guessing where we are on our way to. <laughs> We're going to be prowling the empty streets at night. <laughs> <laughs> for a bite to eat. Yes, that's what we're doing. Listen. Judging by the number of blankets and throws in our cottage. <laughs> it's going to get cold here tonight. Um, you must just push the button again to close it. All right. There we go. You can get us back to the main road. Yes. So you've decided takeaways and we come home to eat? Yes, that's what I want to do. Perfect. We've got such a cute place where we're staying, why not? So you're a Steers fan and I'm a pizza fan. So Steers and Debonairs are right next to each other in Bloomhoff, as in so many other places. So let's go do that thing. I think Steers and Debonairs are the same. Probably. Yeah. So let's head there. I'll show you where. You missed them. Okie dokes. Check this out. Trucks that side, trucks this side. Is this the end? Twelve. Bowser, hey? Hectic, let me tell you. I think you've become familiar with the elegant fuel sign. Yes, I have. I've seen it a few times now. So when you see the elegant fuel sign, through here you'll see steers and ebony. Okay, and you know where the first time I saw elegant fuel? Bader No. Where? was in Eiserfontein. Oh, okay. I wanted to say on the west yes, coast. it was Eiserfontein. Okay, interesting. <laughs> so... Let me tell you, we came to Debonairs and we came to Steers, but we both never got what we intended to get. <laughs> <laughs> it shows you the power of advertising. Yeah. Now I want to tell you that I have never seen this on the, any Steers menu anywhere else before, but I've never really looked. I'm looking forward to this. I just hope. It lives up to our expectations. Same yeah. Same yeah. Okay, we'll see you at our house. As we came driving up to Steers and Ebenez through the window and we pulled into the parking there, Sonia through the window says she sees Pop. <laughs> And we both loved Pop. So then Debonez was out the window, my burger was out the window, I ran in there. Pop with brisket and vorse. And it's a gravy on the pop.
I think this is going to be absolutely delicious. Yeah, I, I couldn't pick anything else. I had to go along with this because, yeah, I just couldn't resist the pop. But I just want to tell you, it's quite a big helping. So um, I know I'm going to get some leftovers from someone else's food. The night is young, <laughs> my darling. <laughs> so we're going to sit down and enjoy the food we bought. I can't wait. I'm starving. Uh, we're going to relax like it tonight. We'll show you the rest of Bloom Off tomorrow. So thanks for joining us. Cheers. Coffee time. Check the frost on the lawns. Yeah, I haven't seen frost in ages. Good morning. We are here in Bloomhof this morning and we're really looking forward to exploring Bloomhof. Gonna sit down now and have our coffee and then hit the road and see what Bloomhof has to show us. It's a nice crisp cool morning and I love the birds flying around in this big tree over here. Amazing. So many birds in this tree. Let's have a look at the reservoir in daytime. Pretty cool. Eh? And this is the other part of the guest house. We were fortunate to stay separately in that little place. This is the rest of the guest house. How oh, cool.
amor fria washroom laundry kitchen this is so cool Then we're going to get Sonia, it's time for us to hit the road. How sure are you that those are notches? Fairly. 100% uh, sure they are notches. Look at that. Yeah, cool. You can ah. see their peel is thinner than an orange. Let's go and see Blue Wolf. It's nice and cool this morning, eh? <laughs> Sonia is a little titting here next to me. Uh. Shaking, rattling and rolling. <laughs> oh, it's going to take me a while to defrost. Cold and I aren't the best of buddies. But this, this is okay. I can deal with this cold. Well, you say you grew up with it. I certainly yeah. didn't. But when it's cold and wet? Uh, For me, if it's cold and dry or cold and wet, uh, uh, same thing. Yes. <laughs> the sun is right this morning it is 13 minutes past eight okay well it's not a bad start for us you happy with that yes i am i was ready long ago it's you who doodled this morning okay that's an interesting statement french linen it was yeah, a good stay i enjoyed it yes very comfortable Well, I'm going to just go straight. Yeah, I'd like to see off the main road, bloom off first. Peaceful, hey? Yeah. Until we get to that main road. <laughs> oh, that's actually what I mean. You wouldn't say. The suburbs, okay, that's cool. <laughs> it's a modern building, yeah, as magistrates' courts go. Here's the silos. Oh. So I presume there's a station down that way. Look how cute this is. They yeah. have their own little version of Burkhardt. Yes, they do, eh? How cute is that? Really? Oh, I love that. Oh, oh, look at all these. Are they aloes? No idea what these are. Anything that looks spiky and spiny are aloes to me. <laughs> I've noticed. We are in Burgerrecht Street. Okay. So it's a farming town. I presumed so. Did the silos take The you silos it? gave it away. And it's not a young town. Okay. It was founded in August 1864. Whoa. That surprised me. That's amazing. Again, when diamonds were discovered in the area. Crazy. And it was established on the farm owned by John Barclay. Listen to this. Who survived the HMS Birkenhead shipwreck in 1852. What? That's incredible. The place became known as Blumhoff 
direct translation, flower court, because of the lovely gardens that were planted by Barclay's daughter. Amazing, eh? What a beautiful story. Yeah, I wonder what this is, yeah. It looks like some medical facility, maybe the hospital. Yes, Bloomhof Community Health Centre. Nice. Okay, it's quite cool. big. Yeah, it is big. It looks nearly like a hospital. It does. Look at the little log cabin. Yes. Cute, eh? Very cute. Listen, it's still quite cool for me that we're in the northwest. <laughs> yes. Northwest province. Our first time, yeah. It's a little far from home. Yeah, it is. A uh, little distance. <gasps> you see what I see? I do, but... And there, we'll, there's two things, but I must go do that. Okay. And then we must remember to go Don't, don't forget that, yeah. yes. Listen, hold on. Have we ever seen a steeple built With from stone, stone all the way up? Is incredible. I've never seen that. That looks unusual to the, me. Right to the top is built with stone. Is this their property already? Yes, that's Reformed Church. Fantastic. Oh, wow. please, I hope I can get in there. So this is, must be the hall. And the offices and stuff. There's a play park. <gasps> Do you think you'll be that, that lucky? There are vehicles that side. No, that's in the Oh, that's that inside. Side by the houses. Oh. Look at this place. Listen, I'm going to go around to the other side. I think I saw a gate open on the other side. Did you? So this whole block is for the church. Yes. It is spectacular. And this gate is open. You were right. You are lucky. Just hope someone doesn't close it, it's automated. <laughs> that door is open, let me just go and tell them we're here. We're lucky to be able to get in here. Yeah. Look at that steeple. Craftsmanship, insane. So there's no lights on you. Looks like this is for the mother's room. All the intricate parts of the organ. Whoa. But yeah, I can't get the lights on.
Uh, voertrek kom aan iemand. Sixteen December nineteen thirty nine, and Magita Prinsler wagon came to Bloemhof as well. For the voertrekkers, centenary celebration. And yes, the tracks. You see the tracks, the hoof prints of the wagon and the oxen, and then the footprints as well. Fantastic. Love it. And this is for the Boer War. 1899-1902, the Anglo-Boer War. Fifteen November nineteen twenty four, the stone was laid. Oh, this is really one of the nice churches we've seen, and we've seen so many. Another beautiful church. Yo, how's that tower? Crazy. Something else we also spot today. Yes. Which we want to go and check it's out. Very interesting. Yeah, really. You were lucky to get it open. Very lucky. See the bell at the top there as well. In the tower, one can I see. I can't the see bell. now. The yeah. trees, yes. Unbelievable. It's a beautiful church. Yes. It's a beauty salon and a store and a guest house. I'm sure if one looks hard enough, but we won't be able to. It's private property now. I'm sure those were church buildings. You think so? Yeah, 100%. Interesting. That's an interesting building at the bottom of the road there. Yes. I wonder what that is. We'll have to go and investigate. love to know what that is. That is such an unusual building. Yeah, and yes, a lovely sports field. Wow! Looks like watering it. Yeah, so it's maintained and the stands are functional. It must be part of a school or something, I'm sure. That's quite a big place. Yeah. Now this is the interesting building that you're fascinated with. Yeah. I've never seen a structure quite like that before. Neither have I. It looks like an aircraft traffic control tower. <laughs> Let me see What's what it's it The Victory Tower. Victory Tower. Okay. Is, as far as I can see, I'm not sure. I have to go in and ask. I oh, know. This, I have to know what it is. Yes. Can't find a soul over here. But it looks like it's accommodation. Victory Tower Luxury Accommodation. 
look at this. All little chalets over there. Really pretty, eh? Yikes. Funny that you can't find anybody around. Nobody, not even staff. Such an interesting setup, though. Yeah. So you do know that it's a hotel? Yes, I saw accommodation. A carpet there saying Victory Towers luxury accommodation. Okay. Very interesting, oh. I must say. <laughs> Unique. Check this church. It's modern. Yeah. It's going to turn around and get its tower. Again. The Dutch Reformed Church of Africa. Africa. That's interesting, eh? It's new to me, I, yeah. must, I must be honest. It's a unique In design, Interesting eh? design, yes. Now, here I'm going to tell you... 70s. 70s? Be able to establish. I saw a cornerstone. Did you? Yes. I will be very surprised if it's prior to the 70s. So I was able to establish from a distance that this one was built in 1978. What did I tell you? I know my architecture. <laughs> no, seriously, I mean, honestly, I think everyone would have said that. Yeah, it definitely looks that 70s style, eh? This is also a different church, eh? But now we're back. Three churches already. Yes. Reformed church. Wow. Okay. And it's got a needle on top there. Yo. And this, I would say, late fifties. You would? Yeah. I don't see a cornerstone. What are they working? Are they? they garden services, I think. Oh, okay. See a cornerstone, yeah. They've got nice churches in Blue Wolf, yeah, eh? eh? Yeah. <gasps> Look at all these trees. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. She's pretty, yeah, eh? Wow. Love that, yes. It's interesting that that gate is automated, but the side is open. I really don't see a cornerstone. I've gone right around now. We may have missed it on the other side. See a cornerstone. Anyway. Ah, here it is. <laughs> mm. 
1970. So, my love? I had a temporary relapse, I know. <laughs> 1970. I wouldn't have said 1970 myself. But it's, it's an interesting steeple, eh? It's yeah. sharp little needle on the top yes. there. Yes. I saw it from way across town already. I call it a little needle. Uh, it's not that little. <laughs> <laughs> Great that they are going to pressure wash the roof and stuff, they Actually, eh? what they're doing is they're waterproofing and it looks like once the waterproofing has dried, they're going to pressure wash. Nice. Always like it when maintenance is being done. Yep. Can we just look at the boat with the plants, please? <laughs> It's quite cool. <laughs> yeah, it is cool, eh? Unique use of an old boat. Yes, love it. Let's go down here and see the cemetery. Um, yes, you took the right fork. Well, I think both forks probably go there. Yeah. There was a fire, fire. here, babe. Yes. doesn't look in good nick. Oh no! That's terrible! That is terrible. Look at this, it's quite interesting. Yes. Hi. Oh. You can't see anything on the gravestone anymore either. Oh, this looks sad. Yeah. <gasps> yeah. There's definitely a fire here now. I wonder if they burnt it to bring the bush down because it's just in this area, so there might have been a controlled fire. Look at this. Oh. Elisa Magdalena Postimus, born on the 4th of the 2nd, 1907 and passed away on the 5th of the 2nd, 1928. Still young. Yo. Oh, I can't see anything on this one. Born 19 March 1865, passed away 22nd of July 1932, it looks like. Jacobus Johannes Strubel. This one was broken. There's the other piece. Yes. Oh, you can't see anything on it. That's so sad, eh? There's one over there I want to go and have a look at quickly. By the trees. Oh no. Our infant son Vincent Glover, born 5th of May 1912, passed away 21st of September 1912 at Blumhof. Vincent Glover. Four months old. Phew. Always interesting to come to the cemeteries, eh? We can drive out that way. I think then we take the other road. Okay. You say this is a baby or four months? Four months old. Vincent Glover. Oh. to answer those 
those questions. Eh? Yep. Lots of graves here. Yeah. Many. I hear you say you think it may have been a controlled fire. You think they would do that? I think it's to get rid of the bushes, yes. Prince Street. This is a hectic street. <laughs> or the N12, yeah, did you say? This is the N12, yeah. Police station? No, we've done it twice, but we haven't done it in sunshine. Yes. There are fewer trucks now than there were last night. Yes. But it's still busy, eh? Yes. As these towns are. Looks as if these trucks give them a lot of business. So, so. I think that's the reason we get franchise takeaway companies yes. and stuff here. Because of the passing traffic. Expanded public works program. I wonder what they're doing in town. The ones with the green oh, suits? Know, probably cleaning up. Wide streets here. Probably four the trucks. Yes. Three lanes, eh? That's incredible. That's quite unusual for me. Agriculture and rural development. is called Dr. Ruth S. Mopati District. Oh, Have really? you ever heard that? Never ever heard of that. Of course. Yes. It's the Fall River or the Vol River. The Fall River. Are they surveying? Yes, it looks like it. Oh, Look at the spoil. Oh, no way! Yes. Look at how it's again the mirror vibe that yes, side. Definitely. This is beautiful. And we know this gentleman who stayed at the same guest house. <laughs> is it is it him? Yes. How coincidental. <laughs> How's it? <laughs> <laughs> Don't you want to take a quick walk there? I'm going to. I'm going to stop just here. What a coincidence to run into yes, here. Yes, fantastic. Yeah. How beautiful is this? That's the mirror image that Sonny talks about all the time. On the other side of the spoilway, it just dams it up and that's where they can pump out the water for use. Crazy. How gorgeous is that? Yeah. No, it's beautiful. We involve river country. That's for sure. And what else? Oh! <laughs> I was in the free state for like 200 meters. Yes, that's it. <laughs> we're still in the free state. <laughs> but now we're going back into the northwest. Okay. Problem. That is beautiful. It is, eh? I love it. Really pretty here. Yeah. I want to see how close I can get to the damn wall. There. 
Yeah, yeah, I can see it in the distance. Can you? Yes, there. But let's see if we can get closer. Look at all the debris in this fence. Now, I wonder if this was those recent floods. All of these places must have been underwater then. No doubt. If the debris is in this... Oh, crazy, eh? This whole fence is like that. Mind you, when water comes, it comes. Yeah, nothing's going to stop it, eh? Can you imagine that sight? And how scary it must be? Oh, no. I don't see any visible sign of damage. No, I don't. I don't know how old this is. Yeah, we have no idea. But there was water this high, that's for sure. So this is incredible, eh? Just happened upon Bless Bridges' spot where he passed away in a motor car accident. Fourth of the third, two thousand. Is it that long ago that already? That long ago already. I can't believe it, eh? That is so sad. Yeah. I remember him well, eh? Yes, he had a unique voice. He could yodel so yeah. brilliantly. Him and his roses. Yeah. So we were pointed here. Let's go. Let's hope we find it now. Oh, I'm sure we will. It's pretty big. <laughs> so there, there's construction on the dam wall and we can't go in. We're not allowed to go in there. And the gentleman says at least another two years. Yes. So yeah. We're missing out on this one. We tried our best. Oh, it's pretty sad. Yeah, but at least the question's been answered. Yes, <laughs> we yes. Were, we were backing and forthing and not knowing where to go. Yes, but uh, it is what it is, eh? We'll come back one day. Definitely. I'm so glad we found him. Yeah.
so if we physically couldn't get to the dam there ourselves we just flew over quickly to see what it looks like <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. I want to see wall, if there's man. a lot of construction going on that one can't get there. Yeah, well, when I do the editing, that's the only time I'm able to see what yeah. it looks like. Yeah. But you never know if it's inside the wall or what. That's true. Yeah. Now, this is a spectacular bridge as well. Going over the Blumhof Dam. And it's a Vol River, but it's the dam at the moment as well. So this is the Blumhof Dam? Yes. Look at it this side. It's spectacular. As far as the eye can see? Yep. We can pull over here. There's a nicer one up front. Oh, okay. Think. It's like 25 hectares in size or it's something. Like wild. Look at this. Eh? Absolutely beautiful. Wow. I love it that they've made these spots to be able yes. to pull over. Oh, absolutely. Check the guys fishing over there. This is a massive dam. Bird life. There in the distance are trees right in the middle of the water. So they say the Blumhof Dam is a major fisherman's paradise, especially for carp and fish cat. Isn't it catfish? I know it is catfish, which I think is barbel. And then interesting, they say there's an annual Bonanza fishing competition. That's cool. But it's a massive dam. I think Host there's enough fish in here. Eh? Yeah, hosted by the Blumhof Dam. Now, are you familiar with the Volvo Sprite Dam? No. Which is further upstream? No, I'm not. I don't know that. Ah, uh, okay. There they say one gets indigenous yellow fish. Okay. So it was really our stay at Blumhof was really cool, literally and figuratively. <laughs> <laughs> but I must say, this Blumhof Dam is majorly impressive. Listen, a big truck came past while we were stationary. Yeah. And the car like hopped up and down. Yeah, they might to be able to absorb that movement. It's <laughs> scary, eh? Yeah. By hook or by crook we saw the wall. Yeah, made a plan. I'm happy I got that right. <laughs> but yeah, we're crossing over into the free state now. <laughs> <laughs> I always like going into the free state. <laughs> it was a great visit to Blumhof.